on a new and original plan, said I to myself, said I. I'll never assume that a rogue or a thief is a gentleman worthy of implicit belief, because his attorney has slipped me a brief, said I to myself, said I. When I go into court, I shall read my brief through, said I to myself, said I. And I'll never take work I'm unable to do, said I to myself, said I. Professional license will carry the bar, I can't repose the bed in the bar, I can't sleep for the good time to the bar, said I to myself, said I. I'll never throw dust in a juryman's eye, said I to myself, said I. Or what we could judge who is not over wise, said I to myself, said I. Or assume that the witness is summoned in force, makes check at Queen's bench, common pleas or divorce, have perjured themselves as a matter of course, said I to myself, said I. In all the professions in which men engage, said I to myself, said I. The army, the navy, the church, and the stage. Said I to myself, said I, professional license and carry too far your chance, but Mansman will certainly bar, and I fancy that you will apply to the bar, said I to myself, said I. Oh, Phyllis, to be separated from you just as I was on the point of making you my own. Oh, it's too much, it's too much. My son in tears and on his wedding day. Oh, my wedding day. Mother, weep with me, for the law has interposed between us and the Lord Chancellor has separated us forever. The Lord Chancellor? Oh, if he did but know. If he did but know what? Uh, no matter. The Lord Chancellor has no power over you. Remember, you are half a fairy. You can defy him. <laughs> yes, but from the waist down, he can commit me to prison for several years. And what good is it if my body is free, if my legs are working out five years' penal servitude? True. But take heart. Our queen has promised you her special protection.